example on complex number if z satisfies the condition mod z minus 1 is equal to mod z plus 1 then show that the identity represent imaginary axis that is real part of z is zero in other word real part of z is zero that is identity represent imaginary axis so uh, squaring both sides uh, no need of this uh, figure directly right squaring both sides this is given and what do i have to show we have to show real part of z is zero that is the this identity represent imaginary axis so squaring both sides what do we have uh, mod z square what is mod z square is z into z bar we know that mod z square is what z into z bar here is right the mod z square is z into z bar right here reason that mod z square is right here reason mod z square is z into z bar so mod z minus 1 square is z minus 1 into z minus 1 bar similarly here is mod z z plus 1 bracket is uh, square is what z plus 1 into z plus 1 bar so right here is a as mod z square is z into z bar and then uh, z 1 minus z 2 bar is z 1 bar minus z 2 bar that is z z z minus 1 bar is what z bar minus 1 bar and 1 bar is itself if the number is a real number then its conjugate is itself its bar is itself uh, if z is x plus i y then what is z bar x minus i y but if the z is number x then what is its z bar is itself x that is if the imaginary part that is the number is real number then its uh, conjugate is itself so one bar is one actually z minus one bar is what z bar minus one bar but one bar is itself one similarly here z bar Uh, plus one bar is one, and then multiplication of these two bracket z into z bar, z into minus one is minus z, z minus one into z bar is minus z, and minus one minus one multiplication plus one. Similarly, multiplication of these two brackets, we have these four terms, and then uh, z into z bar and this z into z bar get cancelled, plus one and plus one get cancelled, and what we have? And shift this minus z to right side, shift this minus z bar to right side. So what we have? 2z plus 2z bar is equal to zero. Change the size. So take two common. So what we have? Z plus z bar is zero, and shift this to to right side. So z plus z bar is zero, and z plus z bar is two times real part of z. We know the note that uh, z plus z bar is two times real part of z. So where is the definition of modulus? After the definition of modulus. Uh, this is the definition of modulus argument, and the definition of modulus. This is the definition of modulus. And what is z uh, plus z bar? This is the z plus z bar is two times real part of z. Z plus z bar is two times real part of z. So what is z? Z is x plus y i. Then z bar is x minus i y. Conjugate. Where is the not conjugate? Definition of conjugate of This is the definition of complex conjugate. Z is x plus y i, then z bar is x minus y i. And what is z plus z bar is two times real part of z. So z plus z bar is two x. Two x means two times real part of z. So z plus z bar is two times real part of x. Ah, uh, z not x. So here is the uh, example that. This is the example. Z plus Z bar is two times real part of Z. If Z is x plus y i, then Z bar is x minus y i, and x plus y and x minus y is two x. Two x means what? Two x means real two times real part of Z. X means real part of Z, and then shift to then we have real part of Z is zero. That is this identity, this given identity represent imaginary axis. Next example for any two complex number z1 and z2 show that this mod z1 plus z2 square plus mod z1 minus z2 square is two times in bracket mod z1 square plus mod z2 square. It is called law of parallelogram. It is also called law of parallelogram. So uh, simplify this mod z1 plus z2 square. It is z1 plus z2. In this by the, by using this identity that mod z square is z into z bar. So z1 plus z2 into z1 plus z2 bar. 
and then separate the bar because z1 plus z2 bar is z1 bar plus z2 bar then multiplication of these two bracket is this four terms z1 into z1 bar z1 into z2 z2 into z1 bar and z2 into z2 bar this is suppose equation number one and then consider this mod z1 minus z2 square is again by using this rule z1 into z2 into z1 into z2 set uh, this bar and then z1 bar minus z2 bar next step and then multiplication is this this is suppose second this is suppose second z1 into z1 bar z1 into minus z1 into z2 bar minus z2 into z1 bar and minus minus plus z1 into z2 bar and then adding equation number one and two so what do we have addition of this plus this is equal to observe this z1 into z2 bar and this minus z1 into z2 bar zero and this z2 into z1 bar and this minus z2 into z1 bar become zero so this z1 into z1 bar and this z1 into z1 bar is two times z1 into z1 bar okay and this is two times z2 into z2 bar this plus this okay so write first that and then z1 into z1 bar, z1 bar is mod z1 square so we have two times mod z1 square write that two, one more step and this is z1 into z2 bar is what is mod is two times this addition is two times mod z2 square take that two common we have this two times mod z1 square plus z2 square so write one more step here that write z1 into z2 uh, bar is what mod z1 square right here that step then uh, next example prove that if mod a minus b uh, divided by 1 minus a b bar is equal to 1 if and only if mod a bar is 1 or mod b bar is 1 so this is if and only type so the proof is in the two parts so i assume this assume what uh, this mod is equal to 1 mod a minus b divided by 1 minus a into b bar is 1 and prove that either mod a bar is 1 or mod b bar is 1 so assume this for in first part this assume and then what we have uh, separate the mod mod z1 by z2 uh, is mod z1 divided by mod z2 and then shift this mod 1 minus a b bar to rhs and then squaring both sides and uh, it then use mod z square is z into z bar so this is uh, uh, a minus b into a minus b bar and then similarly you have the rule 1 minus a b bar is 1 minus uh, 1 minus its bar total bar okay and what is the bar of 1 minus a b bar is 1 bar is 1 minus a b bar bar is what a bar b bar bar is b so this is the way we have this okay uh, one bar is one and a b bar bar is what a bar b bar bar is b and then multiplication of these two two bra uh, bracket we have these four terms multiplication of these two bracket we have these four terms and a into a bar is mod a square and this uh, minus a b bar and minus a b bar zero minus b a bar and minus b a bar become zero and this is mod b square one uh, plus uh, uh, a b bar this is a into a bar is mod a square b into b bar is mod b square okay by using this rule and then uh, uh, shift these uh, terms to lhs we have this mod uh, this term uh, that is this uh, RH, lhs term to rhs and change the sides so minus a bar and minus b bar here terms and then take mod a bar mod a square as common factor then we have mod b square minus one and uh, take plus sign common we have one minus mod b square that is actually take minus sign here common then we have mod b square minus one right here minus and write in bracket mod b square minus one and then take mod b square minus one as common mod a square minus one is equal to zero that is mod b square is this is equal to zero or this is equal to zero and mod b square minus one is zero means mod b square is one means mod b is one and mod a square minus one means mod a square is one that is mod a is one that is we have this either mod a square mod a is one or mod b is one we have this okay uh, conversely assume that mod uh, one of them this is true either mod a is one or mod b is one and then prove this so consider that mod a is one assume that mod a is one this is the second part and what do I have to show? Mod a minus b divided by 1 minus a b bar is equal to 1. So use a as a cos theta uh, plus i sin theta because its modulus is 1. So this is the polar form. 
actually what is the polar form of any complex number here a and b are complex numbers so what is the um, polar form that r in bracket cos theta plus i sin theta what is r r is modulus but modulus of a is one therefore we have cos theta plus i sin theta and similarly we assume the uh, b in a uh, polar form as r in bracket cos phi plus i sin phi or if we multiply by r then we have r cos phi plus i sin r sin phi so here is the theta notation so use here phi notation or either here use theta 1 theta 1 and here theta 2 theta 2 okay so the, the these a and b are two different complex numbers and therefore their modulus and arguments are different so here is uh, this is the co uh, polar form of a and b and then uh, consider this uh, separate the modulus of numerator and denominator substitute the value of a and b we have this and then uh, uh, collect the real part that is cos theta minus r uh, cos phi is real part and the coefficient of i is what take i as common uh, sin phi theta minus r sin phi similarly here multiplication of these two bracket we have these four terms and then collect the real part and imaginary part this is the real part and this is the imaginary part that is the coefficient of i okay and then uh, what is the modulus of this number this is the number in the form x plus i y and so modulus of any number x plus i y is what root a square plus uh, root x square plus y square what is the modulus of x plus y i is x square plus y square root x square plus y square root square of this plus square of this number coefficient of i imaginary part square similarly here the modulus of this number is what Re square of real part x square plus coefficient of i is minus r but this square is plus r square and square of this bracket square of this bracket okay so write that first square of this bracket actually this is what this is uh, uh, sin theta cos phi minus cos theta sin phi is sin theta minus phi this is the value of sin theta minus phi and this is if you take r as common factor one uh, write one more step take r as a minus r as common factor then we have sin theta sin phi cos theta cos phi is cos theta minus phi cos theta minus phi the right the value and the value of this is what sin theta minus phi and then its square is what one minus r this r value of this remaining quantity is what cos theta minus phi bracket square and the value of this bracket is what sin theta minus phi and its square is what r square its square of r is what negative r square is r square and this is the value of this is sin theta minus phi its square is sin square theta minus phi and then a uh, square of this quantity we have this square and uh, that is a uh, two time minus two time cos theta cos phi minus two time r cos theta cos phi and this is minus two time r sin theta sin phi its square is sin square theta this is r sin square phi and that is equal to one cos square theta plus sin square theta is one and minus uh, then r square cos square phi plus r square sin square phi is what is r square because sin square phi plus cos square phi is one minus two r take the uh, two r minus two r as common then we have what cos theta cos phi minus sin theta sin phi that is first write the square of this bracket write the square of this bracket and then we have this step similarly square of this bracket right square of this bracket square of uh, actually and so what is the square of this one square is one and minus two time r cos theta minus phi uh, this is the term minus two r cos theta minus phi and then r square cos square theta minus phi r square sin square theta minus phi becomes r square this is the term and then we have the uh, value of this bracket is what cos theta cos phi plus sin theta sin phi is cos theta minus phi so we have the similar terms in the numerator and denominator and therefore their multiplication uh, division is one so this is the second part of the example so in the first part assume this and prove mod a is one or mod b is one and in the second part assume mod a is one and then we have this that is this value of this quantity is one next example z naught is x naught plus i y naught and a is greater than zero be any real number then show that this equation uh, mod z minus z naught is equal to a represent the represent the circle with center z naught and radius a so suppose z as a, uh, x plus y i uh, as a uh, complex number and z naught is given x naught plus i y naught substitute z and z naught 
and then uh, take the real part in one bracket and imaginary part that is the coefficient of i and then its modulus is what it's square square of real part x square plus y square square of this is equal to a square then taking square of both sides we have x minus x not square plus y y y minus y not square is equal to a square and this is the equation of circle with center x not y not and radius t that is this uh, identity this equation represents circle with center z not center z not means what x not y not in order pair form in order pair form x not comma y not so and the radius is a so the next example is uh, uh, suppose z uh, a is this uh, complex number b is this complex number and lambda is the angle between them okay and then what is the argument of z minus a divided by z minus b is the uh, uh, angle between them lambda so what is the angle lambda is uh, z minus a uh, argument of z minus a by z minus b is the uh, angle between these uh, uh, two vectors two complex number a and b okay so this is the example z1 and z2 z3 represent uh, three vertices of equilateral triangle and then prove that this okay so this z1 z2 are the vertices of equilateral triangle means mod z1 minus z2 what is the mod z1 minus z2 meaning the distance between z1 and z2 the distance between z2 and z3 and the distance between z3 and z1 uh, and these three are same because these are, are the vertices of equilateral triangle equilateral triangle means what the uh, uh, all sides are same so this is mod z1 minus z2 is what actually it is the distance between z1 uh, and z2 because if you write z1 if you take z1 as x1 plus i y1 z2 as x2 plus i y2 then uh, what is z1 minus z2 is, uh, is this uh, if, if we observe here suppose if i take z as x plus y i and z0 is x0 minus y i i y0 then uh, this is the simplification a real part and imaginary part and what is its root x minus x not square plus y minus one what is this this is the distance formula distance between z and z not this distance between this and this okay root because we know the distance formula if the coordinates of the points are x1 y1 and x2 y2 then what is the distance uh, root x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square so that is mod z minus z not means the distance between z and z not like that the mod z1 minus z2 means what distance between z1 and z2 so all these three sides of equilateral triangle are same therefore we have this and the angle are also same all the three angles that is argument argument z1 minus z2 divided by z1 minus z3 is what is the angle between z2 and z3 okay like that because of this note what is argument of z minus a by z minus b is lambda angle between them that is the this is z a this is z b then uh, mod z minus argument of z minus a by z minus b is angle between them so argument of z1 minus z2 divided by z1 minus z3 is uh, pi by 3 because uh, uh, this z1 z2 z3 are the vertices of equilateral triangle means all the three angles are 60 okay so this is the angle between z2 and z3 this is the angle between z3 and z1 okay so all these angles are same so we have this then uh, we have from this that mod z1 minus z2 divided by mod z1 minus z3 is 1 and mod z2 minus z3 divided by mod z z2 minus z1 is 1 okay because all these three are equal okay and uh, uh, the modulus of these two numbers that is z1 minus z2 divided by z1 minus z3 z2 minus z3 divided by z2 minus z1 modulus are same their modulus are same, arguments are same, and therefore these two numbers are same. When two numbers are equal, if their real part and imaginary parts are same, or when the two complex numbers are equal, if their arguments are same and modulus are same. So, argument and modulus of these two numbers, this number and this number are same, and therefore these two numbers are same, then uh, simplify this. That is, uh, shift this z uh, 2 minus z 1 to LHS. We have this side, and then z 1 minus z 3 to RHS, we have this side. And if we multiply these uh, two brackets, then we have this, and that that is what I have to show. Next is mod z1, mod z2, and mod z3, all are 5, and z1 plus z2 plus z3 is 0, then prove that this. 
So consider the LHS of this. 1 by Z1 plus 1 by Z2 plus 1 by Z3. Then multiply and divide by Z1 bar. Because we had to find the division. 1 by Z1, uh, Z1. Uh, so multiply or uh, rationalize the denominator. Multiply by Z1, it's complex and divide by it's complex. Similarly here, multiply by Z2 and divide by Z2 bar. Multiply by Z2 bar. And here is also multiply and divide by Z3 bar. And then Z1 into Z1 bar is mod Z1 square. This is mod Z2 square, mod Z3 square. And uh, Z1, mod Z1, mod Z2, mod Z3 are 5, its square are 25. And then take as 1 by 25 as common. 1 Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3, it's separate bar, then uh, aggregate bar. Because we know that Z plus Z, Z1 plus Z2 bar is what? Z1 bar plus Z2 bar by the definition of conjugate. And then we have this. And Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3 is what? 0. And 0 bar is itself 0. So 0 into 1 by 25 is 0. So we have 0 answer. So if mod Z1 minus Z2 is equal to mod Z1 plus Z2, then show that argument of Z1 and argument of Z2 differ by. That differ by means their difference. Difference between this argument of Z1 minus argument of Z2 is either pi by 2 or minus pi by 2. So this is the given. So consider that inequality, uh, equality, not inequality. And squaring both sides, squaring both sides of this side. Then apply the rule Z into Z bar is Z into Z bar, Z into Z bar. And then separate bar and then uh, their multiplication. We have this and, and the similar factor get cancelled. Then uh, Z1 into Z1 bar plus this Z1 into Z1 bar get cancelled. And then Z1, this minus Z1, Z2 shift to LHS, RHS. We have plus Z1 into Z2 bar is two times. Then this is two times and they take two as common and then ship two, then Z1 plus Z2 bar and write the Z2 into Z1 bar as this Z1 into Z2 bar bar. If we simplify, then what do we have? Z1 bar into Z1 bar this term and then Z2 bar bar is Z2. We have this and Z plus Z bar is two times real part of Z. So this is the number Z1 into Z2 bar and they, its modulus is uh, its conjugate becomes two time real part of Z1 into Z2 bar by using this uh, property. And then uh, shift the two, two time real, uh, real part of Z1 into Z2 bar is zero. And Z2, Z1 into Z2 bar is purely imaginary number. And therefore its argument is what? Argument is uh, pi by two or minus pi by two. Why is imaginary number? Z1 into Z2 bar is purely imaginary number because Real part is zero. Its real part is zero. Real part of Z1 into Z2 bar is zero. Means it is a purely real, uh, imaginary number. That is, it's, it's li lies on the y-axis. And if the number lies on the y-axis, then its argument, that is, uh, axis y makes an angle pi, uh, positive y-axis makes an angle pi with uh, positive x-axis. And uh, negative y-axis makes po uh, minus pi by two angle with positive x-axis. And therefore, uh, this number, real part of this number is zero means this number is purely imaginary. And if the number is purely imaginary, then its modulus, uh, its argument is pi by two or minus pi by two. And argument of Z into Z1 into Z2 bar is what? Argument of Z1 plus argument of Z2 bar. Because we know the theorem that argument of Z1 into Z2 is what? Argument of Z1 plus argument of Z2. The conversion of multiplication to addition. And argument of Z2 bar and argument of uh, Z, Z bar. What is argument of Z bar? Is minus argument of Z. So argument of Z2 bar is what? Minus argument of Z2. And that is the difference between these two is either pi by 2 or minus pi by 2. So these are some problems for homework, for assignment. So solve these all exercise problems. So verify the property of theorem 3. This is the theorem 3. Uh, we have to verify these properties for these numbers. So these are the examples on this topic. Their answers are also given. So solve all these exercises. Number 6.2, exercise number 6.3, their answers are given. So solve all these problems and uh, share me through WhatsApp group. Their answers, share me through WhatsApp group.